Tony Moore, what you doing up this late, man? You supposed to be asleep, dog. It's way past your bedtime, man. Shout out to Baltimore. Shout out to DC. We on our way, baby. Hey, what up, Mac Heads? What up, Maniacs? What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another episode of K and Video Live Streams. It's hot in here. Is this global warming or what, man? It's hot as hell. My day. Let's see, I got up. I threw that little remake of OJ Simpson up. I went and ate breakfast with two pretty Kenny. Came home, went to sleep. My son woke me up, said he was on his way. I went right back to sleep. Got up and showered. And here I am. Been sleep all day, brother. Sleep all day. Sleeping my life away. What up, Compton girl? You got all kind of SS out here. Yeah, man, you know, a couple people gave me SS for my birthday. Of course, I've been buying them over the years, so. Yeah, 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 man. You know, they get old quick, though. You know, I get to sweating in them, wearing them in the sun. Lasts me about a year apiece, right? Except for my Solano hat. That's been, man, that hat been going strong for years. At least five years. What up, what up? I'm going to be the first to say I don't care about that weirdo, but rest in peace. You're talking about O.J. Simpson? <laughs> You're talking about O.J., right? Because there's quite a few people passed the last 48 hours, dog. Pretty boy was lost. O.J. is just a busted nobody here. Dog. O.J. was a, one of our heroes as a kid. O.J., one of the best football players that ever played college and pro football, dog. You know, started out with a black family. Of course, he switched over to Nicole. But, hey, man, can't be mad at OJ, man. Michelle, what up with you? Kev, sorry for your lost recipe. Pretty boy, shout out little pretty boy. Got me out of jam a few years. I don't know little pretty boy. You're not a football fan. It's all good. You're going back to the old James Cash anyway. You had gotten kind of nice, man. You had been real respectful and real cool toward others for a minute. But now you're back to James Cash. It's all good, dog. It's all good. Not the juice. Rest in peace. What up? What up? What up? What up? I will put Marcus ahead of the old Jay. That's cool. Like I said, one of. One of. But I'm not here to debate if OJ is the greatest or the second greatest or none of that. Coming up, he was a great football player. Marcus came after OJ. But um, yeah, man, you know, I've been I've been looking forward to going live today. Nothing special, but the fact that I want to go live. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm having orange juice. You having orange juice? That's your OJ. Uh, that's right, though. Shit. In memory of the juice. The juice. Yeah. Got some funny, funny comments today, man. Not funny as in comedy, but weird, right? New York Knicks, what the Knicks done done now, man? NFL Hall of Famer, Trojan great, right, high chief, right. We're not going to let the brother rest in peace, I see. But um, can't take away his accomplishments, that's for sure. They there forever. He's in the record books, dog. And, and nothing you say can take away my experience of running across him in the county jail and him uplifting me, always having positive things to say. I mean, I thought that was cool. Shit. Probably him and Honey Bear are the only dudes I ran across. Like, keep your head up, stay strong, stay positive. You know what I mean? And he was facing a life sentence. Celtic killer. 
Uh, they beat the Celtics. No, I'm not surprised. What did Jason Tatum do? So I see we don't have the KMV women up in here tonight, but Michelle. I'm going to call Michelle the cook, right? She's the KMV cook. That confirms that he didn't do it, Kev. That's confirmation. He looked like when, when they gave the 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 verdict. OJ didn't look as worried as Johnny Cochran there. OJ was just like. Johnny Cochran was like, oh, thank God, thank God, oh, you're free. Johnny Cochran must have had some more money coming if OJ beat the case. Uh, me personally, I haven't heard any updates. That's not to say no, no others did that was closer to the family or in touch with the family, but no, I haven't. Compton Grow, what up with you? Dream Team, OJ Kardashian. Ah, there you go, there you go. <laughs> Remember they said Chloe was his daughter because of her big head? <laughs> Number one, what's up with you, man? Johnny Cochran. Before he became famous, he represented a lot of people, man. Johnny Cochran wasn't no scrub, dog. Johnny Cochran had a cold resume of, of of representing defendants. Knicks, you a Knicks fan? Knicks and the Giants, man. What are you born in New York, dog? Oh, New York Giants, Cochran the goat, yeah, man. No Dodgers, no Giants today, so I don't have to hear about the bums. Me and Alala, me and OJ got our parole on the same day in 2017. I was jealous his results back the same day and had his hearing on ESPN. <laughs> don't be jealous, man. Don't be jealous. Y'all got out, right? Or did you did you not get out? My mama still think Chloe is a daughter. I, I mean, I heard that a lot. Yeah, Johnny represented Geronimo Pratt, that's for sure. Tell me Cochran wasn't no scrub, dog. Okay, congratulations on coming home, man. You got six years home. What have you done in those six years? What's the biggest accomplishment? Or your or, or your best experience since coming home. They was eating cucumber sandwiches. You gonna hear about the Knicks whooping on boss. You know what? I would be happy to hear that. I, I must admit, I would be happy. I am not a Jason Tatum fan. But I think old oh boy Brown, I think Brown is hard though. I think Porzingis is a is huge for that squad. I don't like Tatum, I'm not a Tatum fan. Why did I kill OJ? That, see, see when you say stuff on social media, man, people run with it. So you know, you know tomorrow I'm finna get a lot of that. I'm finna get a whole lot of that. Man, cancer did that. It wasn't me, dog. Cancer, dog. Cancer. Cancer is a cold disease, man. Do y'all think the government can cure cancer if they really wanted to? Do you think they have a cure, but it's only for select politicians and billionaires to get that cure? What do y'all think? My father-in-law had the same exact... <laughs> yeah, a lot of people had a Bronco, man, back in the day. A lot of ballers. Kev, do you remember where you was when OJ was on the run on that highway in the white Bronco? To be... 100% accurate, no, but I think I remember, I think I remember watching it. 
You know what? No, I don't remember. I think I was in my mama's house, man, before I knew I had a case. Dr. C.B. cured cancer. I don't know about that, but money make the world go round. Yeah, watching my kids graduate. My charge on 24s and care maybe. Man, that's cool. That's what I always said, man, but not my kids. I want to see my grandkids graduate. And then I could check out. If I could watch the ones that's living, I mean, while I'm living, graduate, that'd be great for me, man. That mean I got about 17 more years to hope for. Right? My grandkids are pretty smart, so they might graduate a year early. I got about 16 more years, man, and I'll be ready to check out. But at this rate, I ain't got 16 more. Just keep it 100. I ain't got 16 more, man. My favorite part, when he put on the glove. When he put on the glove like this, like he stressed his hands out. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga said, <laughs> OJ made sure them gloves was tight as hell. Nobody's death will be trolled more than OJ. Wow, that's not good. Straight up, care blessings to you and you. If caught in time, cancer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people get rid of cancer and then it comes back. Young Tiny, what up? What to do, Young Tiny? Fitzgerald up in here late at night. Okay, okay, okay. Eat your greens. Man, broccoli, broccoli, greens. Oh, that's good. Well, Crystal, what are we going to do? We going to act like we not going to pass? I mean, I, you can act like you going to live forever. I know I'm not going to live forever. So it's just the reality. I don't have a problem talking about it. It's going to happen. Be prepared. That way your kids don't be fighting over your bro and your girl. Be be prepared and prepare your kids so they don't be worrying who gets your high heels and who gets your flats. Who going to wear your jellies and who going to wear your fussies. Don't have them fighting over your earrings. You know what I mean, Crystal? Who gonna get your bed? Who gonna get your dresser drawers? Who gonna get your fake jewelry? Who gonna get your pearls? <laughs> I had one of the hardest Broncos in LA lifted, Eddie Bauer edition. Okay. With all pro Mickey Thompson. All right, all right, all right. That's what's up, number one. James Cash, man. If anybody know about bad energy, it's you, man. You be talking about all the bad food you eat, man. You talking about all that chicken. Do you know how many ingredients is in chicken from a fast food spot? 15 to 16 different ingredients, man. That's just killing you. When you come bragging about the chicken you eat, you come talking about forget the dead people and all that. Come on, man. Your energy ain't that great, dog. Let's just skip that conversation before we start throwing rocks at each other. Yeah, uh, you're right, Black Warrior Spirit. Keep it real. We do need to speak on it. We are the least prepared people when it comes to death. It's pretty sad. What's sadder is we don't want to talk about it. People don't want to talk about it. We don't want to do shit but blame each other. We don't want to do nothing but find fault in one another. That's why I said when this when this live started, I said O.J. Simpson and Honey Bear from Venice was the only two dudes that I can recall being uplifting other than Papa T from Pueblo and Head from Brim when I was in Wayside. But, you know, in my mind said I'm thinking of the actual me in Central Jail. But yeah, man, I, I don't remember no homies like, keep your head up, you're going to be all right, you're going to beat it, you're going home, or none of that shit. So yeah, man, we, we need to stop blaming each other and putting each other down, man. If we're going to talk about positive energy, we can't. When somebody say something you don't like, we can't, we can't start concentrating on that like it's negative energy. 
Because we could talk about everything everybody's saying is negative. You feel me? Wrench Mob, what up? Jerry Allen, what up, homeboy? When I die, I put my casket on doves, roll me in with all my niggas and put a blunt in my tub. Yeah, don't do me like that. I used to want to roll down Las Vegas Boulevard, man. Not no more. Just burn me, nigga. Just burn me up. Put me in a ball of fire, man. Man, I miss Papa T. Where's some great conversation? I look Papa T up. Pa Papa T got two. He got two, I think, five to ten sentences ran concurrent. I think he got ten and ten ran concurrent. I don't know how much time off they get in Nevada. Man, yeah, don't 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 put no blunts, no alcohol, don't put nothing in my casket if I have one. My real cousin passed from stage four bone cancer last year, 45 years old. Man, my condolences, man. We getting a lot of that though. Miss 702, what up with you? I right, I'm glad to see y'all laughing in the comment section. That's a good start. In and out, but send the love. All right, you take it easy, Miss 702. You know us. We just going to sit here and wait till the end of the live to go off on somebody. Talk my ish. I ain't even drinking alcohol today. I'm on water. And still feel like I was drinking alcohol today. You do six years and nine months to clean up a ten. Oh, that's what's up with well, shit. Papa T might have about two years, nine months to go, maybe. No, not our Papa T. Uh, Papa T from Pueblo, Bloodline. He used to come on this show all the time. Or you talking about cancer? Sack looking horrible? Good, good, good. AK, uh oh, wait a minute. AK, thank you for your salute to OJ. I remember when you would speak about him in the videos and your admiration for him. So I know your admiration was genuine, brother. Keep up the good work. I used to speak with you on Alex's site. Oh, them the old days, man. But you know what? I reached out to OJ four times. I checked my messages this morning. OJ would never respond to me, man. I tried to interview OJ, man. I tried to interview OJ, dog, but he never responded. I guess no response means no, right? Or maybe he never seen the messages. Maybe he got too many messages to check mine. Because it don't show red. It don't say if they were red or unread. Did you ever encounter Putin? I've never encountered Putin. I did talk to Cynthia Nunn today. Cynthia Nunn called me. The Queen of Compton called. And uh, wish condolences for pretty boy. It's crazy how OJ kids with Nicole stayed out the media for 30 years. Shit, they ain't had no choice, man. Auntie and grandma and grandpa wasn't going to let them be in the media. We don't see Michael Jackson kids <laughs> too much, do we? Soul Tree Bowls, Soul T Bowls. I think he was paranoid from all the people trying to set him up. One of OG's best friend is my biggest client. Wow. Okay. OJ's. Oh, okay. No, nah, I never reached out to Chloe. I don't give a damn about Chloe. No, they've been popping off Paris, and the little boy got to look them up. Great evening, Kev. Little Rick, what up? Your unpopular channel is trending in Asia. Crip Jackie Finn will probably bring out a lot of Harlem's and East Coast originals along with the other East Side Crips. That's not Jackie Todd, though, right? This is a different Crip Jackie. Am I correct? Jackie Todd. Go back to the beginning, right? Jalen Brunson, MVP Brunson be balling, man. 
I spoke about him early, early on. Who was your worst rival, if you can answer? I didn't have a worst rival. I love everybody, man. You know, fights and shootings was just part of the game, man. I ain't got no hatred. I don't have no rivals, man. As far as I'm concerned, shit. Damn, every man on earth is my rival. It's just how you how you uh, get along with the person, man. Hey, Kev, what's the coldest way you seen someone put the rest? Is it the suit and tie or the gang attire? I don't know. I never thought about it, but suit and tie is most appropriate to me. Unless you don't have no parents, no brothers and sisters. If, if the gang bury you, then the gang dress you how they want to dress you. But out of respect for the family, you got to go out in a nice suit, dog. The crap table was my worst route. The pit boss, the stick man. <laughs> I never beat him. <laughs> okay, Kev, I'm getting my water. I'm getting my water, that's for sure. It's hot, man. Global warming to hit the town, man. It was cold earlier, then all of a sudden it just got hot and the sun is gone. Who y'all talking about, hot chief? Hi, Chief, who you talking about, Chloe? Was rolling heavy in the pen? Depend where you was locked up at, man. Every prison and every yard is not going to always be the same. It might be two of y'all in one yard. It might be 15 of y'all in the next yard. You know what I mean? My cousin, Baby Gummy from Kelly Park Compton Crip, my auntie and them buried him suicide. Big Cuddy was in a flannel and Dickies and Chucks. That pick stuck with me forever. All right. What Fitzgerald say, dog? Oh, bury me upside down so the world can kiss my ass. Man, you've been watching too much Bobby Knight. That's the Southern saying. Bobby Knight was the first one I heard say that, man. Bobby Knight was a, was a straight character, dog. Do you more so enjoy staying at crap tables for long periods of time or hitting them hard and fast? Nah, long, 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 long time, man. That's why I always gave it back. And that's why I won so much, because I stayed so long. So who ran the yard when you was there? Who ran the yard? I don't know that anybody ran the yard. You know, it was G's from all the different hoods, man. And most of them was lifers. So all the lifers got along because they've been running across each other for 20 and 30 years, dog. I grew up unknowingly cripping, if that makes sense. Oh, you was a crip and didn't know it? Did you happen to have a blue rag hanging out your pocket that you didn't know about? Shaniqua, what up? I can tell you've been feeling well. Shit, you've been checking in every night with your blue hearts and stuff. So hopefully uh, your spirits are uplifted, Shaniqua. Shaniqua, you Muslim, right? Did you fast? Do the women fast? Man with the long money in a dice game usually walk away. Usually, not all the time. Usually, the guy with the long money get cracked. Everybody looking at him, him like a damn fool. Like, nigga, you knew you had too much money. Why was you gambling them buzzards? Kim at the big little baby tiny start with one gang or did all gangs adopt it? Well, I mean, to keep it real, homie. To keep it 100. The Mexican gangs was doing that before the black gangs. So I don't know if we got it from black gangs or it just happened organically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, for real. 
Bubba Loke in the building. SIP, big pretty boy. What up, Bubba Loke? Bubba Loke in the building, man. What up with you, man? We need that seeing the OGs before you came off the porch, knowing all the West Side factors as a little kid. We need to hear that, bub. And then we need some jokes too. Well, how about we just do a how about we just do a stand-up for the for the interview? How about we don't do an interview? How about you just crack off some good jokes? Huh? That'd be something different on this platform, and that'd get people in the mood to hear some more good shit, right? Ramadan started in March. It was over yesterday. You what all weekend? You ate all weekend? Wow, now that's history. The essay did it for. You got to realize the essay has been around shit since the Slawsons and businessmen, probably before that. So they had already went through all that. And then they had different cliques and shit. I have to step my ass hat game up. Yeah, Seattle flu. You in Seattle, you should have them all, dog. Side to the soldier house. Kill Mac the gang culture documentary king. Grace, mercy, and peace, OJ. A stand-up interview that be hard. I'm telling you, man, that well, oh, well, I don't know about stand-up and an interview. It's got to be one or the other or a combination of both. This nigga ain't finna be telling jokes and answering serious questions at the same time. <laughs> All hood, a straight monologue. I got a lot of shit to say. It's funny. It's, All right, let's do that, man. I know it's going to be funny. Hey, bud, tell the truth, though. Some of your jokes be whack as fuck, right? And you stretch them out. You stretch them out to where you make it funny. Like, if a nigga don't laugh the first time, you're going to say it again. And then you're going to say it again until they laugh. Tell the truth, bud. You be like, nigga, nigga had, his, nigga had his rag in the right pocket. Nobody get it. You say, in the right? They still don't get it. You say, nigga, in the right pocket. And everybody laugh because by now they get it. They're like, oh, nigga, a crip with his rag in the wrong pocket. Tell the truth, bro. I want to make old folks laugh too, the originals, because I know some stuff. All right. You got that, man. It's a celebration they call EID after you fast for 30 days. So don't have no Muslim friends and you're from LA. I mean, I, you know, people keep their religion in their house and in the mosque. I don't know who's what. I don't go around saying, hey, are you Christian, Jehovah, or Muslim? But I, I got friends that fast. And I got one friend that's Jehovah, right? Big cousin Carrie. In the eighties today, despite the OJ news, hey man, it's no K in news, homie. Okay, OJ, but you are the OG of gang history. Shaniqua, are you on the sun? What up, Kev? Been on a lot lately. Your girl put you on punishment. You've been on a lot lately. My girl put me on punishment. Hell no, nah, man. This is this is baseball month, birthday month. This is alcohol month. It's the one month out the year where I get drunk, man. Nah, I ain't on no punishments though, man. We don't do punishments around here. Love you, though, cuz. Man, we're going to make it happen, dog. I'll let you know when I come. I don't know when I'm coming. I'm getting ready to go on a tour, man. I'm getting ready to go on a baseball tour. Man, forget that Remy, man. I need water. Bam, what up with you? Hi, Uncle Bam. Hi, Uncle Bam. I seen a 12-year-old tell a white boy Lady Crip was his religion. She nearly fainted. <laughs> That's funny, man. Okay, we got some Yankee fans in the house, all right? Street TV is cool. Street TV is cool. Go Angels. 
Yes, the Angels are playing better than I expected. Shaniqua, I missed you in Vegas. I came just to talk some shit to you. Damn, you see that, Shaniqua? Well, both of you on the ATL, man. Shaniqua, uh, make that ride on your off day so he can talk some ish to you. He talked that pimp stuff to you real quick, though, Shaniqua. He had you back home. He had you back on the blade. You be starting a new blade in Atlanta, you go talk to Fitzgerald. Once he get to popping his collar, you get to lifting your, you get to lifting them jeans up and make them look like a skirt. I had a Muslim try to stab me because I said I would never practice that religion. Oh, for sure, Maurice. Uh, um, I, I I had a Muslim story with cousin Kerry, but I decided it's not probably not in the best interest to tell that story. I don't want to offend nobody. Not that it's mine. It's me that's offending them, but by me telling the story. Cousin Kerry was something else, man. He out that PI on her. He gonna I'm telling you he gonna pop that PI on her. <laughs> that nigga said, what he say? What he say about the eye? She could see that pimp eye. Did you hear of any white boys hitting the brothers on any prison yard after those? No, I didn't. Fitzgerald, you, what's up, homie? Mr. Mack. Oh, yeah, I seen that. Would you have done if you had an interpreter and he stole money from you for gambling? Would you help him pay it off being a gambler yourself? Or would you have handled it different? Check this out. If my interpreter stole 1600 2500 I'd pay it off for him and wouldn't even fire him. If that nigga stole $16 million, $16 million, I'm going to pay another $16 million off that fool. That fool got to go. Before he steal another $16 million, he got to be buried. That nigga got to be under Dodger Stadium. They'll never find his body. That nigga be deep up on their home plate somewhere. Man, 16 million? Shit. Otani gotta be the stupidest Asian in the history of America. How the hell your interpreter steal 16 million from you? One, you gave him access to your bank account. Second of all, how you don't miss 16 million? This nigga was robbing you blind unless you was giving him the money to begin with. Man, how you, man, for real. Nigga, 16 and a half million, and I'm road dogs, they go Jimmy Lavender. I'm road dogs with the biggest player in the game. You know what I mean? 16 million, I'm betting on my partner. I'm betting on my partner, man. 16 million, and it's his money. <laughs> it ain't even my money. I'm going to bet there's 16 million on my partner. What? You know how much money he probably breaked in betting that Otani hit a home run every three and a half games? Betting that Otani win MVP? Betting that Otani win when he pitch? Nigga, what? 16 million? They got game with that report. No way he scammed 16.5 off of Otani. It's only two options, man. He got Otani for 16 million, or Otani was giving him the money. Otani said, here, homeboy, this is how you get in my account. You can play like you me. <laughs> hey, man, I'm going to reach my interpreter grip to take the fall. Shit, Barry Bonds did it. Sixteen million dollars. <laughs> Sixteen million. What if they find out Otani deferred his money so he wouldn't gamble it all off? Hey, 
what if they say Otani's gambling habit was so bad? He said, y'all give me 600 million, 700 million later because I'm going to lose all that shit. That would be hilarious. Barry Bonds, homie, still doing time behind that for real? Shit. About time that nigga step up out of there, man. Can't Mac gonna have him buried next to Jimmy up on the golf course, allegedly. Man, that nigga gotta go up under home plate, man. St. Louis in the building. Did you used to run into Nipsey Hustle in the 60s? Mm -hmm. Nah. They still hating on Barry. Man, I love Barry Bonds, man. I seen Gary Sheffield working out with his son or nephew. I guess his son. I started to leave a comment and say, man, don't give him that steroid cream that you were using. But I said, I'm going to stall Gary out, man. Just so you know, Warriors peaking big, homie. I, I know they beat the Lakers, man. That's all I need to know. <laughs> I'm telling you, if I if I was a San Francisco Giant or a San Diego Padre or even an Arizona Diamondback, when I'm playing against the Dodgers, I'm gonna ask Otani, "What you want to bet?" I'm gonna get in his head. What you want to bet? Bet something, fool. I'm gonna get in his head. <laughs> Cardinals are cool with me. Man, why you keep bringing up the Cardinals, man? I, I think I think you got an issue with me and my Dodgers, man. My, my man said they need to peak just to get in. <laughs> yeah, but they didn't have to beat the Lakers, dog. We went from the Lakers got a chance to be in the sixth spot to one day later, the Lakers are playing for their life <laughs> Lakers and Sixers, Dr. J. James, Worthy, Norm Nixon, Maurice Cheeks, et cetera, et cetera. Man, Bubba Loke, I, I blew it. I fumbled. I should have Bubba Loke come on, click on the link, and come tell us some jokes right now. I fumbled, and y'all fumble with me. Y'all should have y'all should have said, give them the link, tell them to come in. Yo, flush, where you at? Hey right, man, some funny stuff around here. Our numbers been good around here though, lately. I think being consistent and paid off. Man. Andrew Tony was a baller to care of question. Why gamblers don't like to play? <laughs> hey, that's a good question, man. I don't know. I, I don't know, man. I think it's something, something about gamblers, man. They they need to keep money. They need to keep a bankroll so they can continue to gamble. If they pay out all their money, they can't gamble no more. So I think it got something to do with the addiction. It's almost like a crackhead, right? It's a smoker. Smoker have a hundred dollars in his pocket. He won't go buy three and a half grams. He go dub you to death. Give me a dub. Give me a dub. Give me a dub. Let me get another dub. I bought four dubs from you. Can I get some love on this one? He don't want to spend all that money. He want to keep some in his pocket. So I think I think gamblers are like crackheads, man. They don't want to give up all their money. Uh-oh. Comedy Comics Laughing Cancer Tour. All real West Coast comics that have been convicted. 100 Bloods and Crips. Hit me already on paper. Home run. That's what's up. Wrong line. Money or markers from pit balls. Wrong line. Money or markers from pit balls. I used to get markers on me. You know that? 30 deep or horseshoe. I see some gambling fiends and hard rock eyes. Red, black under there. Man, I see old women with black eye up under the eye. What are you talking about? They ain't gamblers. You looking at some old ass women. When women get old, they get black under the eye. Fool, they ain't got nothing to do with gambling. What are you talking about? 
eyes red, black under their eyes. <laughs> their eyes red because they up all night, probably drunk. The black under the eyes is age. That's how you could tell a woman's age. You don't see no girl 20 or 25 or 30 with no black under their eyes unless they got an abusive boyfriend. I feel no pity for gamblers who lose big money. They just like crackheads can't be right. Sport pain, no slots, no friend junkie. Hey, man, that was a nice way of disrespecting me. <laughs> Very nice. I'll accept that, brother. Because you could have said it a lot more harsh. Sitting at them slots all night. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, can we get a short story? No, nah, man, I ain't got no stories in me right now. Uh, Portland over Warriors? I doubt it. Now's the days you do. Nowadays you do. I don't know, man. I mean, I haven't ran across any. Yo, Kev, you ever bet on Las Vegas Aviators? Who is that, the minor league baseball team? Actually, I have. Maybe twice. If you ever get back on the casino tip, Kev, I hope you win major. Nah, I ain't doing no casinos. Just sports, man. Homie, can you pull me in? Yes, absolutely. Without question. Here goes the link right here, bub. Man, you better make my people laugh, dog. No laughs, make it hard under the eyes and have fat ankles. <laughs> That's when they're not breathing right, man. The ankles get fat when they like to eat and don't breathe good, man. Be having ankles like a Samoan. Like a sumo wrestler, man. Kev Max, you might be good at day trading or option trading with the big dogs on Wall Street. Man, I ran across some, uh, some Wall Street people, some day traders. They say it's really like the same thing. Jerry Buss was in that Hollywood Park. I used to gamble with Jerry Buss, fool. Jerry Buss kept two holes in him at all times. Normally one black and one white. He kept, he kept the black up under the left and the white up under the right. I used to wonder if that was strategic or not. Uh, they will connect. You need to connect your mic and cam before you can get on the stream, bud. You got to go to your settings. Open up your settings, dog. Otherwise, you can't come in. It won't allow me to put you in without at least your microphone or your or your camera, dog. Bus love poker, man. There you go. What up, homeboy? What up? That ain't Bub, though. <laughs> dude, hop, dude, hop the link. Where you at, Bub? Bub, you had somebody else get in, get in on the link, dog. <laughs> I'm like, that don't look like Bub. Bub got younger or something, man. That ain't you, Bub. <laughs> That's right. That's what's up, huh, boy? I feel you. I'm looking for Bub, dog. I'm looking for Bubba Loke, homie. I feel you. I got you. I'm looking for Bubba Loke, dog. <laughs> My man laughing and throwing it up and everything up. All right, I'm going to let you in. I'm going to let you in. What up? What's up, Mikhail Mac? Just a quick question, bro. Go ahead. I it's Courtesy Plus. I just got to a thousand subscribers. Just a quick question from St. Louis, man. You remember the St. Louis niggas want their cornerback song, right? <laughs> yeah, Ice Cube. Uh, it's a, just amazing, bro, how many cats came from Cali and came from St. Louis. I just turned 40. 
You know what I'm saying? So I got uh, the kind of the ass end of it. But it's crazy how y'all came from all the way from L.A., bro, and straight set up shop in so many areas. But St. Louis was an area where y'all made a lot of bread, bro. Yeah, but them St. Louis niggas was some damn niggas, though. <laughs> hey, but we got it from y'all. You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, we, we got it from y'all. You know what I'm saying? You you know what I what I respect. I mean, I can't speak for everybody in St. Louis, but what I respect about the St. Louis dudes, especially uh -huh. in the sixties, they really came to LA back in the day and kicked it. Yeah. So they hey, hey. so they was accepted like differently from most other cities and states. Right. I I got a couple cousins. One of my cousins, he was uh working in Snoop Crib, Big Turk. He they he, when they left St. Louis after they graduated, they moved to LA, and uh. And he moved to Orange County now. But um, yeah, man. Hey, hey, who was that singing on the intro, man? Kill Mac. My my kids be like, why you keep playing that song? Why you keep playing that song? <laughs> you talking about uh G Perico? Oh, that's who that is? Or you talking about the Kill Mac video song? Yeah, it sounds like a uh old head singing uh oh, Kill Mac yeah. video song. That's Fitzgerald. He's okay. From, uh, he's from uh, Alabama. Uh, Okay. Uh, good, sir. I ain't going to be long-winded, man, but, hey, you know I have to throw it up, man. Hey, I, 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 I ain't in the game no more. I ain't in the game no more. I got kids. The kids in high school now, but, man, much love. Keep doing what you're doing, bro. You you affecting a lot of people, bro. All right. I appreciate it, man. Hey, and tell them niggas stop hating on you, man. Them niggas can never walk a day in his shoes. Hey, I, you know what I seen? I was looking at an old, old-ass Cat Williams live comedy a minute ago. Mm -hmm. Cat, Cat Williams said, man, what's wrong with you women? What's wrong with you niggas? If you, got, if you a nigga and you got 20 haters, nigga, get, get 20 more. <laughs> I, I heard that, that, OG, man. Much love for bringing me in, bro. Courtesy Flux. At Courtesy Flux on YouTube. I got some funny shit on there, man. Hey, put it in the comment section. All right, I got you. Much All love, right. bro. Yeah. Hey man, he said tell them stop. Hey, no, I can't tell him to do that. I I just learned. Let him hate, man. Fuck it. Let him hate. Hey, uh, come on, Bug. You had me put a link in there. You let dude from St. Louis jack you for the link, homie. Nelly, I'm from the Lou and I'm proud. Hey, I, I like Nelly, man. What's up with Nelly and, and uh, Ashanti, though, man? I knew he was hitting that when we went to their concert. I said, there ain't no way they traveling together and on stage together and all that. Man, I knew he was hitting that. Bam said he want to come on. Man, when I be wanting Bam to come on, he don't come on. Kevin, man, you resonate here with St. Louis. Man, you know I... You know, I like the Cardinals when they had um, Albert Pujols, dog. I mean, even when they had that steroid dude from the Oakland A's, man, Mark McGuire, they was doing that thing. Langford, uh, Ozzy Smith, Gary Templeton, Lou Brock, my favorite. Uh, what's the pitcher name, man? They had a cold pitcher, too. What up, Shotty? What up, homeboy? I'll put that link in there, man. Bug tricked me and shit. Tell me I put the link up there. Bug, why you do me like that, man? You you the same homie that'll say, here, man, hold this sack when the police come. <laughs> Nigga go to jail and you just sit there like, shit, wasn't me. Here go the link, though. Yeah, Josh Gibson, man. Thank you, Tony Moore. Ah, skates? Nah. Ricky Hen Ricky Henderson was one of my favorites. Two, I met him in Vegas. I told you y'all that story. I met him at Caesar's Palace, man. Ricky Henderson thighs was like this, man. Ricky legs look so athletic, and he had a bad Asian one. But Ricky didn't have time for me, so fuck Ricky Henderson, man. But on the field, though, yeah, Ricky was one of the best. Probably the greatest leadoff hitter ever. 
<laughs> Bob Gibson was hard, man. Mr. Mack going for Keisha Cole. I'm cool on Keisha, man. Keisha be playing pregnant and shit. Is she pregnant or is she not pregnant? Man. Man, look. Everybody's connected to Cali. Shit. Everybody got aunties, uncles, grandparents that came to Cali. Cali's connected to everybody. But I was saying St. Louis dudes was really on the block, though, back in the early 90s. They go Bubba Lope. What up, Bubba Lope? Here I am, cuz. Uh, you look like a white, you look like a wasp baby lope with all that purple on. That ain't purple, man. That's red and blue. That ain't no red and blue, fool. <laughs> now that's blue. That's blue. I wear both colors now. You know, I I thought about being a retiring uh, crypt and becoming a blood, but I won't be able to go nowhere. <laughs> What's up with you? I wouldn't change his neither. I'd be a RSB like Keter Rock, Rolling Sixty Blood. Oh my God! Keter Rock, <laughs> come on! Keter Rock, let me see you first. <laughs> oh man, yeah man, I, I'm chilling, man. Uh, um, you know, I'm out. I'm out, and uh, I'm trying to cut my speaker up, man. No, I'm out. Do. I'm out. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm part. Why you ain't never uh, tattooed your face like Keter Rock? Put tattoos on my face like Keter Rock? Yeah. They ain't gonna see on my black ass. They ain't gonna see a tattoo on my mother's face. It's like I'm, I'm dark as chicken meat. You gotta get white ink. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm dark, I'm dark as, as chicken meat. The, 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 the bad get, part of chicken. You gotta get fluorescent yeah. ink. Yeah, yeah. Well, I heard they got that shit, but man, I, you know, how they gonna get the, how the shit gonna glow in me forever, man? That's some alien shit, ain't it? <laughs> hey, don't say alien. Me. I wish I would be electric. I don't need it if I gotta do that. And hey, you believe in aliens? Huh? Do you believe in aliens? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I, 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 I ain't gonna say I don't. I ain't gonna say I don't, but uh, I seen that damn SpaceX in the sky the other night. Well, that shit did scare the shit out of me, partner. I posted it. <laughs> Man, it was two moons, an eclipse, and that. I said, this some shit. We getting invaded, right? This motherfucker. What niggas gonna do? We get invaded by aliens? All that bad shit. What they gonna do? I don't know, man. I was standing one spot and shit on myself. Hope the alien don't like boo boo. <laughs> <laughs> they say you in the cabin of an eighteen wheeler right now. Boy, look at here, an alien, or a zombie for that mother. Listen, a zombie walk up on you, uh, you sock him and shoot him and don't let him. Boy, this would be the scariest nation in the world. A zombie, ain't that a bitch? They already walking around. You see them about semi eleven. And you know, you know, they thought they thought uh, COVID was gonna kill off homeless people. They were lying. Hey, they was mad in the motherfucker. They thought the homeless was gonna die from the COVID. It's more yeah. people that was that one homeless died than homeless people. So yeah, I know there's yeah. some apartments available. <laughs> For real. The homeless people walking around. They got apartments now. Yeah. Kind of shit. Then they want to take RVs. Man. They ain't taking my RV, nigga. I will be like OJ and Al Collins <laughs> on the freeway, nigga, flying. <laughs> I get you know some motherfuckers got a bunch of water in their shit. Yeah. I got a bunch of gas. I got Gas cans and gas cans and gas cans. I'm gonna roll till I can't roll no motherfucking mo. <laughs> I gotta tell Chico yeah. Bean to come on with you one day. Who? Chico Bean. Chico Bean. Who? Man, you don't. Know I seen that nigga at the, what's your name. I seen Chico Bean at the uh, Mike Epps at the um, forum. I went. 
He funny in the motherfucker. He funny in the motherfucker. Yeah, I got to get yeah. y'all to put them on together, man. But every now and then, you might, you know, even, even the best get, you know, they have a bad night. <laughs> he didn't that night. Yeah. He's funny. He's my, that's my first time really just, you know, checking him out. So yeah, I, I, get, I get my props to him. Who's the Real hottest Chico comedian man. out right now? Huh? Who's the hottest comedian out right now? Well, you know what I'm going to say, right? No, nah, I don't. That's why you asked, huh? Yeah. Well, let me see. Now you talking about funny, or you talking about getting they, they getting their bread? Funny. Uh, you know, I'm 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 a cat. Cat funny is a motherfucker. Mike Epps, funny as a motherfucker. And I'm talking from a natural standpoint. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, not without no nigga, bunch of writers and all that shit. I'm talking from a natural standpoint. Uh, Bruce Bruce, the one of the most polished games ever. Mm. Nabelle Crawford, both of them, the big one and the little one. What about Corey Holcomb? Corey Holcomb is a beast. Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely, um, uh, what they call that, uh, um, uh, um, when, you know, motherfucker be a beast and you don't really, they not as big as everybody else, like, like me, uh, <laughs> um, an underdog, he's an underdog that's, that's, uh, a, a, a king of the, of the, un, of the, of the circuit, you know, he, he, He's a beast. Mm -hmm. um, Bruce Bruce, um, 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 like I say, Lavelle Crawford, um, uh, 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 Earthquake. Earthquake is, you know, but I, I, I'm still, my top five is uh, Mike Epps, Cat, Mike Epps, Cat Williams, J. Anthony Brown, nigga, excuse the fuck out of me, J. Anthony Brown, uh, Corey Holcomb, um, 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 <laughs> I don't even want, I don't even want to do nobody like that, you know, because they probably never heard of me not, but you know, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, they're my top five right there. And as far as getting the money, you know, Kevin Hart getting the money. Yeah. He getting the money. You don't, uh, fuck, with, um, you don't fuck with Steve Harvey? No. <laughs> he played out, huh? uh, 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 Don't get me wrong. Steve is funny. Uh, J. Anthony Brown was the funniest motherfuckers ever. J. Anthony Brown, niggas are beast. Uh, Steve Harvey, he's a character, a mean ass character. The, you know, I had I had around with him before, uh, and him and Black Cloud, and when I was trying to get on Comedy View, and they was over it. And um, you know, sometimes people don't. You think people don't remember who you is, but you know they do. And, and, and when I first got in the game, when I first got in the game, Steve Harvey gave me a shot. When I did um, the, uh, uh, when J. Anthony Brown was hosting the fucking Maverick Flat, right? He gave me a shot because I went on right after Steve Harvey. Fresh up out the feds with an S jacket, an S hat on, and a rag in the pocket, being a dummy, right? <laughs> and he gave me a shot at Chip Fields, man. I didn't think comedy was gonna be my game, bro. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so did. I got my first pay gig that night. Steve Harvey picked me up in the air and told me, "Boy, here, take this number. Tell her I called you. You think I did it? Hell no." Nah. With the Vegas did the show at the Thomas and Mack Center and then laid down like shit. I didn't think comedy was gonna be my thing, but it's my thing. Uh, I'm a bad motherfucker. Mondays and Fridays, you can catch me at the rooftop. Um Wednesdays, uh 6922 Suite One, Hollywood Boulevard. 6922 Hollywood Boulevard, Suite One, the Cantina, me and Lil G, who come to my boy. 
Um, do you know Glenn you know, people? That's Lil G. Uh, the company convicts. Yeah. Well, you know, it's AJ Johnson resist. We still give homage to AJ. You know what I mean? Yeah. Before any, before any of the niggas is out now was doing their thing. They probably were doing their thing, but you know, when, when I first got in the game, Ricky Harris, AJ Johnson, Face on Love, um, them was the niggas, bro. You hear me? Yeah. To that I was like, you know what I mean? Uh, rest in peace, Ricky Harris and AJ Johnson. You know what I mean? Hey, pause for a second. Let me see who this is. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's Bam. Yo. All right, I'm gonna kick him out. I don't know who that is. Is that Bam? Oh, then put me in. What up, Bam? Down, What's up, man? I'm just listening to your boy. Man, what's this Just name? Just keep working. Can you like change the name up? Or what? No, that's my niece thing. Man, I ain't got no cash out. Oh, okay. What's up? <laughs> I ain't sex, man. I ain't sex. That ain't me. <laughs> Can't be you me. Look like, you look like an older <laughs> version of my homeboy, Bub. <laughs> Damn, nigga, the first thing was, first thing was 10 years younger. I'm the middle of night. <laughs> 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 you got him. What's up, though? I was sitting here watching some old, some old high class, uh, highlights of Jason Williams, man, White like Chocolate in the NBA. Yeah. Uh, he was called. He had some skills back in the day. He yeah. was called. White Chocolate What's was called. Yeah. Yeah, he was. And that white boy had skills, man. Just couldn't get Cross a ring. Over. Just couldn't get a ring. The other white boy was Jason well, Kidd. Other than that, man, I got a date more. <laughs> yeah. Jason Kidd ain't no white boy. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm talking about Jason Williams. Jason Williams, man. I, I know, I know. And I said. The other white boy was Jason Kidd that could play. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm clowning. That's clowning. Hey. Jason Kidd was too. He was cold. You know. Yeah. Kid Mac, I remember mean, when you played too. When, no when you used to be Grand Hill. Hill. Play what? <laughs> when you used to be Grand Hill. <laughs> I wish I was as good as Grant Hill. They don't know you Grant Hill. They don't know you Grant Hill, cuz. I thought you were going to give me Steve Kerr. Or, uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 we still wearing feelers, baby. <laughs> yeah, that's Cody and I get some feeler based basketball shoes. <laughs> That's the only shoe we ain't seen on the NBA court. That's what I'm saying, nigga. That's what I'm saying. It, it should have blown him up or some shit. <laughs> hey, bro, <laughs> you was the first person to wear a three-piece suit with Chuck Taylors, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> well, Mike Epner tried to pay me um a pair of Chuck Taylors in a Nipsey Hussle t-shirt. I'm like, Cub, fuck that. We finna shoot this motherfucker up. <laughs> a Nipsey Hussle. I heard him whisper, give him a Nipsey Hussle t shirt and some Chuck Taylors. <laughs> nah, <No>, God. <laughs> give me somebody, man. You know what I'm talking about? Damn, yeah, but you know, hey, I'm for real about that that Laughing Out Cancer tour, Come to Convicts. Um, um, we can make it happen, bro. I, I would love for you to be involved, on boy. Um, you know, you 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 keep a, a, a peaceful table among black men and and you know brothers with from different sides of, of the cities and states and you know from different gangs. You know, it, it's just over, man. You know, really, I, um, at, at fifty five, you know, um, that nigga asked me, "Do I want that? Do I need that?" I like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I like. I, I, I don't need it. I don't. I don't want that. But I tell you what. I tell you what. I got for you though. <laughs> you think you gonna hit me and get? I'm gonna leave that alone. Anyway, um, 
Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. I showed, you know, you'd be like the Art LeBeau on the tour. You know what I mean? You know, this one goes out to Little Thumper. <laughs> We're making you laugh. We're going to get the cancer. <laughs> I'm glad I got to get You need to be honored, bro. For real. Like, seriously. You know what I mean? You got a nigga in the comment section call me Danny Ainge. <laughs> Danny Ainge. No, that was racial. <laughs> <laughs> that was racial as hell. <laughs> you a light skinned Negro, not a white boy. Got to shit is that? His screen is messed up. <laughs> His screen ash. You probably need lotion. Hey, hey I resent any any. <laughs> Comparisons to Dwight Howard, man. Dwight Howard. Yeah, don't put me on that level, man. No, 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 hell no. The un-Superman? Yeah. <laughs> that nigga came to the Lakers for nothing. I swear to God. Superman. He should have left his ass down there flying high off that cocaine in Orlando. Where the fuck he was? <laughs> 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 that nigga took a hit, nigga, dunk, and they sent him to LA. Ain't got a bitch. Somebody eat a Superman. Gone crazy. Couldn't fuck with Shaq, man. If, if Shaq and Kobe should have stayed together, Shaq and Kobe should have stayed together. Shaq and Kobe should stay together. They still be playing right damn now. I'm telling you right now. 40 years. <laughs> no. With a championship. You know, I like the Lakers. Shout out to the Lakers, LeBron James. He just ain't he ain't a Kobe to me. You know what I'm saying? That you know. He good. He had a Kobe. Best crossover ever in the game. Better than Allen Iverson. Uh, no, no. Jordan. Jordan didn't have no crossover, Iverson. though. Huh? Jordan didn't have Jordan no crossover. crossover. Who? Jordan, Jordan, Jordan didn't have no triple. crossover. I don't think so. I don't, not, not like Kobe's. Y'all saying the same thing, man. What? That Jordan didn't have a crossover. I don't, I, I, you know, I just seen a, a, a highlight reel of him the other day. It was a special, rather. And Jordan just went with, you know, he, like 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 um the fullback, uh, LeBron James. Uh, <laughs> he picked the ball and run. No, I'm just playing. Um, Kobe just, he just he had that. He you know what I mean? Hey, man, hey, I caught that. LeBron James playing like a fullback. Huh? LeBron that. James. <laughs> and they can pick up the ball and run, don't he? God damn. <laughs> Why do we have a cold crossover? You're right. Yeah. You're right. That white boy You're right. I was talking about had a cold crossover. Uh, 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 white chocolate had a cold one. crossover. Huh? That was with the coldest one. White that was chocolate? the coldest one. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. You know what? Mm -hmm. hey, 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 I gotta say, hey, hey, on the real, this I'm gonna keep this absolutely one thousand. It might even be better. I'm gonna go back and look at some highlight. White chocolate crossover was yeah, no. Nah. Hey, bro, his crossover was really nasty. White chocolate though. with Kobe Bryant one time. <laughs> you, 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 you provided about that, homeboy. Hey, Me bro. ten years from now. <laughs> hey, hey, bro. Yeah, you go. You say that nigga ten years from me ten. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This nigga say you look like Gary Payton, bud. <laughs> you niggas done played out. <laughs> Well, they white chocolate. Here. Whatever happened to white chocolate? Cocaine? What happened to it? Shit, I don't know. He just retired, brother. Oh, Everybody yeah. need NBA. You know don't get on drugs. You know what? You know what? I'm glad I did my drugs and over with them now. I could really have some money. Because if I had took a hit, if I'd have had some money 15 years ago, I'd have killed my damn self. I'd have took a hit and blew my head off or something. I don't know what the fuck I was going through. But how many niggas be cracked and bounce all the way back? I'm just like that, nigga. Oh, what? Happy as a motherfucker, nigga. I can fart and hover right now. I'm so happy. Hey, boy, can I can I ask you a personal question? 
I mean, I mean, no, I'm not gay. Are you crazy? No, no, no. Look, don't say your name, though. No, but are there any homies that you got high with that we don't know they get high? What? <laughs> Nigga! There's more niggas in the closet than it is on the streets. <laughs> Angry. Are you what, nigga? Yeah. <laughs> Lord have mercy. I ain't no stitch, nigga, but God, God, <laughs> nigga, what? If you knew how many times I was in the spot, nigga, did this? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, what? That's nigga that I'm mad at right now. I, I ain't sold it up 12, 12, 13 years. This nigga that I'm mad at right now wouldn't give me a hit. <laughs> I remember that nigga wouldn't give me no hit. Now I done start exposing them, nigga. Just cause they <laughs> now that's when you know a nigga sick, huh? If he been clean 13 years, he's still mad at a nigga because he didn't give him a hit 22 years ago. <laughs> I just keep it 100, man. That's all I know. I ain't gonna say no name, but I remember nigga. I ain't going to sit on that, but I remember a nigga told on me, big worm, told on me. Um, <laughs> I ain't going to say no name, nigga. But uh, worm, uh, we got, nigga, we told nigga on me, nigga, they came back, like, what bob at the end there? Nigga! I, I, boy, I got up under the house, uh, the spot. I, I come out spot away and shit all on me. Worm out there laughing, hot, and giggling and shit. And he done collected fifteen, twenty dollars. He come back in, you know. I, I got spotted shit on me. Like, yeah, man, they're looking, looking for you. I wonder why, nigga. <laughs> Fucked up my heart. You finna have me in trouble. Give me no <laughs> shit. <laughs> What you thought I was gonna keep it real? A whole bunch of this boy, I, woo, I, boys, come, whoo. How many? How many is getting high? I didn't nobody know. What? Hey man, somebody, somebody said you look like a little Patrick Ewing. Tell them uh, <laughs> we brothers and sisters, and they mama sitting right here with me. <laughs> 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 I say you look like Anthony Mason. They tell them, and they sister is my baby mama. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they still smoking. <laughs> Damn, man. What I look like? In my left chapter, something. Let me see. I'm cool. Oh, oh. they probably built like hey. their mama. If it was a nigga to see. Some of these niggas built like they mama. <laughs> you ever see a nigga built like they mama? Hell yeah. Got hips and shit want to talk shit. Yeah. There's some girls built like they daddy too. I ain't lying. I'm finna get off the thing. There's some girls built just like they daddy. Nigga ever seen a bitch with top nest? <laughs> 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 hey. <laughs> hey. Bitch got top nest and no ass. Ain't this a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, for real, for real though. You, I, sometimes I see my folks. I don't know if it's a bitch with a beard coming or it's a nigga with ass. I just don't know. <laughs> then they get up on me and this is mad, mad the motherfucker. Get your girl walking ass on about your damn bitch. <laughs> I just know it's a girl. They get up on it's a nigga. It's a bitch. <laughs> And be happy about it too, man. For real. Oh, one more thing. One more thing. One more thing. Uh, um, um, they need to pass a law for a woman to get some new feet when them feet they standing on is fucked up. Like, uh, like cut feet off at the morgue. You know, let bitches go down to the morgue and pick out some new feet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You'll see bitches with light skinned feet on a dark body. You know what I'm talking about? Because they didn't have no more light feet. <laughs> okay, I'm sure. She's been wearing socks all her life. <laughs> no, some of them can't take their socks yeah, man, off. Man. You know what I'm talking about? They can't take their socks off because. The crust is holding on to the material 
I, I'm just saying, say, what, I was about to say, what about the ones with crusty feet? It looked like they've been walking in the street barefooted. No, after they did the concrete. After they did the concrete. You know how you write the cement? Remember you should write yeah. the cement? Yeah. They walked through there and forgot some <laughs> shit. <laughs> they put their footprint and never washed their feet again in the motherfucking cement. Yes, Lord. And I don't mess with no girl that can't get no nail polish on her pinky toe. If she can't get no nail polish on her pinky toe, <laughs> nigga, that's fault. Oh, man. Her elbows got to match and she got to have baby hair. <laughs> So if it was a girl's had anything to say about what I look like, tell her she better have hope she had baby hair. Edges. <laughs> <laughs> what about crazy. the crooked big toe, bud? Uh, what about the crooked big toe leaning to the side? You talking about the girls that lost weight and still got the same head? No, the, the big toe <laughs> on their foot. Oh, the big toe? And that motherfucker do a left? <laughs> on the right foot? Yeah. <laughs> on the left foot, it's going left. The big toe? Oh, my God. That's scary right there because one time, <laughs> one time I had a bra with one of them feet. You know, it's not, she was older. She had one of them foots with that, with that, with that toe, with that toe, that toe wrapped around that first toe like this here. Yeah, to get to the you know, Wrapped around. I'm going to wrap around. And it got that knot on there like a fish. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah. If she took them up, I, 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 you know, I came home late. So what? I got in the bed, and that bitch took that toe and and pinched me on my ankle. <laughs> <laughs> she took her feet and interlocked that big toe around my ankle. Between that first toe, nigga, and say, nigga, don't you ever do it again. I said, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know that? You know her feet was big as hell to wrap around my ankle. Her oh, big toe, okay. her first toe around my house. ankle. This and nigga squeeze. Went, nigga jumped in the bed with the White Howard. <laughs> <laughs> I, I should call her Go Go Foots. Cause she had feet like a gorilla. <laughs> you ever been to a P Diddy party? Tutu was good though. Hey, woo! <laughs> sometimes, yeah. sometimes uh, uh, tops and 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 bottom uh, uh, make you forget about feet, breath, and all that other shit. <laughs> oh, no, I did not I, I nah, but. Everybody has some good, good, funky cock. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gone. Love y'all. Peace All right, out. Baby, <laughs> All right. Everybody <laughs> has some good, good, funky cock. They don't want to tell that part, though. You talk about how many niggas was smoking and don't I know. Think of how many niggas doesn't mess with some funky, funky face, pay and still did it. Later. <laughs> All right. All right, boy. <laughs> hey, they got a real 20 years. I'll get off the thing. Damn. I'll kick you out. Don't worry about it. Don't hey. do that, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you have me rolling, kid. Man, how you living, brother? Oh, man, I'm surviving. Man, you doing great, man. You went up in that stores and got all that. That, that, that good money, all that was good money you had in them bins, man. They just didn't know. What's yeah, up, man. though, man? Still my condolences to the 60s from Pretty Boy, brother. I've been talking about Pretty Boy lately, too, man. Yeah, man. Unfortunate, man. Yeah, he hooked me up with a good old runner, man. That girl ran for a cool year and some change. And was dropping mm -hmm. it like it was hot, too. You know what I mean? Man. That was a good brother, man. And Kev McAdoo told me in a comment today that my show is dying because I don't talk about gang shit. I told dude back in the comment, then I kicked his ass off my shit. I don't want him in my show no more. I just said this. It's dudes like you that perpetuate the violence in the community. You don't want to see it change. But, it's uh, a lot of them, bro. 
<clears throat> it's a whole lot now. But I don't. I'm gonna start calling them on that shit. That might be gone. I, I don't. I don't think they consciously know that that's what they want. I think they unconsciously know that because they're addicted to the and drama. That's, and that, and that's true. That's true. I was unconscious at one time. I didn't know I was black, Kev Mac. I thought Crip was everything. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? So I found out it wasn't. But uh, yeah. those are the ones that is afraid of unity at the same time. Those are the ones probably lacking in their responsibility, lacking being a father. You understand what I'm saying? Because they don't care. Look, let me let me give you, you know an example. Saying? Let me give you an example. Last night, I got to talking nasty, right? Talking about sex yes. and a female up in here she comes through quite often she got a profile picture a provocative profile picture and uh she says is this appropriate she said good night i'm gone good night but you got a inappropriate profile picture that's you know that that's perpetuating sexuality yeah. <laughs> so I'm saying what I'm saying to you is sometimes people will try to call you out because of exactly what, what you said. That's really how they are. You know what I mean? All right. But they they're gonna put and, and you know what I learned about that what you no what you're saying is real. Good. Yeah. What you're saying is real. I got this from you. I got certain things from Ellie Mel, but I got a whole lot ninety five percent of my YouTube. It's based on listening to the thing, the advice you gave me. People like that, I learned how to deal with, even with trolls now. I give them trophies of the day. If you want to be this type of person, you can be that type of person. I'm going to stay being me. I'm going to stay keeping it 100. You understand what I'm saying, Kill Matt? It's one thing life taught me, prison taught me. That is, you're going to want your world to be what you want it to be. Everybody else don't want that world to be like that. You understand what I'm saying? And most people that got something negative to say about what somebody else is saying, if you got it, you're going to spot it. They spot the bullshit in themselves. They don't spot the bullshit in others. They spot the bullshit in themselves. So they get offended when somebody put it out there because they, they catch it real quick. You understand what I'm saying? That's somebody you can, you can put on the 10-yard line down. You're going for a Super Bowl ring. They're going to get it for you. That the touchdown can win, they'll get it for you. Right? And a lot of them is like that. I, I learned on YouTube, man. You can only be yourself. You said something earlier in, in your life about the 16 million. You the, you the cover 2,500, 1,600. But when it came to 16 million, check this out. He wouldn't have came back. You, you, you couldn't have found him. But this the code for it. I don't want nobody to take this the wrong way, Kev Mac. I done smoked me some weed. I done drank me a couple of beers just coming back from comp. Right? Listen to me. It's a whole lot of dudes winning off YouTube based on Kev Mac. So I'm here to let you know, man. And this ain't on the dead homies. This ain't on the on the on, on the hood or nothing. This is just some real shit. If Bam ever get a million motherfuckers subscribers you know, or views and they throw me some decent bread, I got to pay homage to my mentor. I got to pay homage to the brother that said, hey, man, I ain't think you can make it. You thought I was Tom Brady or Iowa State or something. You ain't think I can be a quarterback. Then you the first one that told me this. Bam, you need to start your own show. Then you hit me again. Hey, bam, you got to learn how to smile. You got to learn how to crack a joke. And watch this. I'm damn near 5,000 views, so thank you, my brother. <laughs> thank you, my brother. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm learning YouTube. I believe YouTube is meant us to enlighten and to school people, not to create bullshit in our community. We're losing too much in our community. We're not, we're not just losing brothers and sisters based on gang activity or stu stupidity in our community. We're losing brothers and sisters because we ain't being health conscious. That's what, at a certain age, we need to become health conscious. We need to understand what we're taking in our system and what we, what we put in our system. And this is what people need to know. Right before I came home, in prison when you become 50 in prison they want you to take the stool test they want you to check they want to check you 
Don't no grown man won't nobody probe him with his butt. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Exactly. But these things we got to get away from to make sure we healthy. Right. My girl's right. younger than me and had a heart attack. Now she got some in her. So it's making yeah. me become health conscious. And it's making me appreciate life a little bit better too, right? So mm -hmm. I appreciate all that you do, man. I know I, I flipped the top of you. So I appreciate all the game you done gave me with this game, man. Oh, really, I like man. the fact you tapped into my show, man. Yeah. I like the fact I ain't, I didn't watch a few shows. I ain't never seen Kev Mac tap into it, but I know he do. But I appreciate the fact you tapped into my show, man. What you, what you got to keep no. in mind, too, is I told you that, uh, and I said it on my show a few times, that uh, the consistency was the key for you. You know, because a lot of people wasn't gravitating towards your channel. They wasn't. They weren't becoming... Uh, magnetic to what you was talking about, but you just kept going anyway. And your numbers slowly, slowly but surely are coming together. Um, you know, some yeah. people have it easier than others. You know what I mean? I I had it easy in the beginning, but <clears throat> my numbers died off drastically. So when the brother told you your channel falling off, that, that that's his perspective. He don't know what you've been through to get your channel to where it is now. My channel definitely fell off, but guess what? This last couple of weeks, man, it's it's going back in the right direction. So, you know, it, it that shit's I mean, just gonna happen. I believe this. This this just bam opinion. I can come on here talking gang shit, Kill Mac, but the gang is starting on YouTube is Kill Mac. So if I want to talk gang shit. I'm going to talk about the gang shit that Bam did. I'm going to mention names. Yeah. But I'm also telling you how people change that used to be like me. We don't no longer think like this. You want gang history that people that do that with a person that does fact, fact checking, checking, and he giving you straight honesty, go to care of Matt. I'm not here to, zap, to, to glamorize who Bam is. Bam wasn't nobody in that crib circle. I was just a crib representative that bleed in crib. You understand know what I'm saying? Did I put in work? Do I got this? Do I got that? Yeah, I did all that. But I'm here to, to, to say that most dudes that get on here, what I found out about YouTube, yeah, Max, is this. Most people like bullshit. Like you saying, they like bullshit. And I believe a real person can hang around with a gang of fake people and that fake justice start rubbing off on a real person. On a, on a, on a, by accident, it's going to rub off. Your numbers is going back up because they tired of looking at the fake shit. It's getting back to where it's supposed to be because they tired of seeing fake shit. They want to come back to their real. See, real don't never close the door. Fake shit do. Once you recognize it's real, you don't run away. You run back to it. You don't run from it. You understand what I'm saying? But the fake, you going to keep running from it when, when, it, when it's exposed. Mm -hmm. I trip on Key ways and Damus. That's putting a hundred on their Damuism and their Cripism. I trip on some bigness, as people call them. Said what a Crip and a Blood shouldn't do, but they doing the same motherfucking thing. Exactly. And the Crips and Bloods allow that person to do that. See them dudes that sit up and point the fingers, that's your age and my age and older. And, and in between, the ones that point their fingers at, at the OGs and the gang shit, also played a role in it because I know for a fact I know a gang of dudes that was really getting money that wasn't no crip or no blood they was just a crip sympathizer or blood sympathizer that was the dude that go come to state prison and, and, and we give them passes those are the ones that stay prison today man we don't want no drama on the yard I got the phones I got the sack they only use us for what they want to use us for so they point fingers at us saying we the cause of the problem, but the game bangers ain't never just been the cause of the problem. Everybody in the community been the cause of the problem. Ain't no such thing as a civilian, just like it ain't no such thing as the South Central. And I'm glad you put that on your thing when you first interviewed me, Kel Matt, at the mm -hmm. port. You you said it with a news article. It was in the paper saying yeah. South Central came based on the uprising in '92, the riots. Right. Right, and that's that's what people need to understand. But I'll be on the on the level where I'm trying to 
everything I see is directed to my people, man. That's what mm. if somebody else gravitates to it, I'm happy for them. But I'm trying to me and my people, we losing because we making ourselves lose. We our own worst enemies. Yeah, man, right. when the day it's gonna be a hundred crips saying we got to get Kev Mac and just a few bloods saying, Let me be Kev Mac friend. We got to learn how to embrace each other losses as well as each other wins. You understand what I'm saying? And, and, and I'm learning that on YouTube, if the right people speaking on it, it's going to gravitate to the right people in the community, and the community is going to get better. Yeah, it's you know too many mean? egos, that's, man. That's, 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 too many egos in our community, huh? and especially on YouTube, man. These dudes got these big old egos. They redoing the whole man. game thing when it comes to everybody want to be hard. Nigga, we already did that shit 40 years ago. We ain't got to be hard on YouTube. Well, what they need to understand, that being hard came from some generations before these dudes. Only thing I found hard that get cracked is a bald head. We, from, we went from being hogs to being hard, and hogs get slaughtered, right? Exactly. So they need to understand that your ego and pride gonna send you to the cemetery or send you to prison. I yeah. kind of learned how to curb my ego and my pride. That's why I'm probably still living today with God, with God in my life too. But everybody is afraid. Not everybody. Let me let me phrase it back. Phrase it right. Most people are afraid to display their real self. Some people look at it if you passive, you weak. Nah, that don't mean you weak. I learned this from you, Kev Mac, when you was getting at me about how I used to go in on that S and Y yard. Prison itself is S and Y. Just like everybody on the streets got associated with some form of crip or blood in their family. Everybody in prison, Crips and Bloods, is associated with somebody being on the S and Y yard and PC'd up to get there. So I learned how to not always go in on that because when I talk about these dudes with P that, that got PC podcasts, I'm talking about the person I, I love. I got love for them went over there. So I'm, I'm learning that, but let, let me the cut, ain't shit, man. Let me cut you off real quick. Hey, Bug, Charleston Blue came home April 8th. Man, you what, three days late? He already home. <laughs> You know who Charleston Blue is, uh, uh, Bam? Hey, check this out. I seen him on there with you and two pretty Kenny on the short, right? I go to uh, my homeboy Pop's uh, memorial yesterday, and it was a brother. It's in the fly fit, the beard, short hair, and everything. I thought it was that dude. I said, man, you look like the dude I just seen on my homeboy Kev Black show, and I forgot his name. Y'all liked how he did it. I, everybody knows you for the kitty is. He started calling the fight in the garage. I, yeah. I, I, I couldn't do yeah. nothing. We'll never laugh, man. I like yeah. it there, brother. The bully dead. I commented. I said, no, the bully ain't dead. This spirit still living with people. See, what they don't know is two pretty kitty probably wouldn't say bully name if bully was still still walking around. He probably had to pay bully some money to say bully name on there. Because I probably had to do that. That's how he was. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, yeah. I couldn't have read the two pretty kitty because it would bump my ass. So I probably would have had to give him some money too. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> the bully, hey, listen to hey, 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 you think I'm lying, Kev Mac. I can take you around some people his age in front of Cola Park, in Monoport, Corporate, and West Side Piru, and in Fruit Town. And the person they're going to say was that Centennial and coming up that had the real hands. Was the bully? That was the first. Watch this, man. When me and LB was able to communicate, that's the first thing he asked me. He said, "Man, what's up with the bully?" I said, "Man, he rested in peace." LB like, oh, for real? Everybody knew about Larry James, man. He wasn't a bully. Bully. He bullied the bullies. Yeah. The rebel blood that went to Centennial and fuck with the bully. They knew about the bully, man. Larry James was no joke when it came to them hands. You know what I mean? He, he had that. Listen to me, man. Every hood got a squabble. Ain't no five hand guys from no one hood like Billy Melvin stand. 
Mm-hmm. Only one nigga really had hands that did nobody want to see. Any of mm-hmm. the neighborhood. It was simple as that. Simple as that. Just one nigga. And if he bu- if he was such a bully, he wouldn't have that much respect. Right. Bullies don't get respect. Right. You feel me? Larry James, just he, he listen to me, Kel Mac. That dude gave me some game up, man. That dude took girlfriends. He used to be the Art Kelly type of nigga, too. He fucked young homegirls my age. He took one of my girlfriends and said, I got it because you ain't got a car. I would have did a burglary and bought me a 63 monster. You know what I'm saying? You know? So, Larry James, he had hands, man. He had hands. Boy had hands, man. Girlfriends and your money. What you say? I said, Bully took your money and your girlfriends. Listen to me, man. The boy was a beast, man. That's why I did nothing happen. She's too pretty Kenny. That's my uncle. I love that motherfucker. But he ain't telling y'all the real. They probably been getting pocket checked at the ten if it wasn't for the bully. <laughs> niggas probably want to pocket check some niggas if it wasn't for the bully. Bully was he had respect on both sides, man. They they put flies out for this dude to fight some people, man. Like one dude, another dude posed that had hands. I was a little dude then. They put flies up where they could meet at a park to see Larry James and another dude throw hands, man. But I, I, I'm going to give his props on this. The bully was respected the father, respected the son, took good care of his kids. Worked with the BFI. Started off at a school down there at Willowbrook and did his thing. He was a respectful brother. Him is the dude we got to start telling these youngsters about. See, every all these youngsters from their neighborhood they hear about their big homies like the bully. We got them let them know that they 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 like stuff is more interesting than hearing about a homie killing somebody. Let's show Larry James in, in all the right right ways. Uh, yeah, Matt, Larry James taught me how to stay out of jail, but I just didn't follow his lead. And he was breaking the law every motherfucking day. But he ain't mm-hmm. never went to jail. He never did no time. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So you. It was something he was doing right. It was something he was doing right. But he had a squabble that was, man. And the cold part, he looked like, when he was young, he looked at like Muhammad Ali. Mm. Looked at just like Muhammad Ali. <laughs> Feel me? Yeah, we hear about Craig Madcap, the big homie. That was Larry James' brother-in-law. We hear about La We hear about Mike Stone. All them, mm. Mac, watching them, all them. Two pretty kitty. Mm. But I asked two pretty kitty this when you get up close. When the bully pull up, they the ones got in line. You feel what I'm saying? They had the low key couldn't press on my generation. But now the bully and David Lee Scott pulling up the ones with them hands. So, you know, I learned a lot from my big homie, man. I wish my big homie was still alive to see how I was living life. Just as long as I've been on the streets, and he's been saying that every day to me. Boy, you at home. Shit, I'm the I mean, when I first got out, man. Oh. Yeah, all my homeboys and my, my brother too, man, they already done passed. They've never been on the street this long as an adult. And hey. hey, you think I'm lying, Melly? You can get damn care back. I was one of them dudes that lead a pen. I'll leave you in the penitentiary. You say, man, you gonna send me a package, man? I'm like, for what, care back? I'll be back, man. I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I was really telling people this. I didn't say this to people. I ain't finna see no package. I'm finna be back in jail. Somebody just asked me the other day over sugar free grandma mom. I was always in jail. Shit, that's the only place I knew I lived at. I was at my best in prison. I didn't realize the streets meant anything to me, shit. Child became grown. Not a not a responsible man, I just became grown. I learned how to be responsible, but being responsible for my freedom. You understand what I'm saying? And a lot of brothers coming out these pens and staying home now. You don't hear us talk about old oh, shit. When we talk about old oh, shit, we really be living what we used to talk about. Because we don't like what we see today. We know we play a role in what's going on. But I guarantee you, and me and your, your big brother there marrying some old, older people, we got better good times and we got bad times, yeah, man. Yeah. We can really reflect on our gang activity and shit. We didn't lose a lot of homies. 
-hmm. we can really reflect and say being a crip in the blood was cool because all you was gonna do is really get your squabble you feel what i'm saying yeah. and if you didn't squabble you wouldn't go outside your community anyway half of these little crip sets in la and half of these blood sets in los angeles when i say los angeles i'm talking about Compton all over they ain't nothing but some end up crips they don't go outside their neighborhood man they don't go outside okay. their neighborhood the ones that get money as always is the ones that go outside their neighborhood so <clears throat> until these dudes learn how to be a crip or learn how to be a blood, they really need to kick their they, they egos to the side. This ain't cripping no more. This ain't Domuism. You feel me? These dudes, come on, man. I had to tell a dude today at one of my partners, man, my partner finna sell a man some weed, but the youngster want to play him for the weed. I said, hold him up, homie, where you from? I'm from Fort Gillis. Well, hold him up. Congress don't do it like that. Man, get this man his money for that shit. Now, you want to run off? That ain't how cop, no, we don't do that. With some skinny jeans on, some old ass Air Jordans, spandex drawers and no belt, and a two year old hoodie. <laughs> we look from OG, I'm from front of it, huh? Or we get along with y'all, man. Y'all in dope projects, Crips. I already know to get in. Oh, you knew the big homie Rebo? Rebo wasn't like this, bruh. This is how I really be talking to people, Melly Melly. They don't be me, goddamn me, kill Mac. And they don't be out of no disrespect. And these youngsters gravitate. We got to learn how to speak the language of the village. And these youngsters don't only gravitate to a dude that they see they self respecting. And they see a little bit of them in that, that they want to be in me. See, I got, I gravitate to the youngsters, man, that I see me, what I used to be. I didn't realize I was a bully to come from my care Mac. And a few other crips told me I was a bully. <laughs> I wanted to know how I learned that to be a bully. I figured it out. I am a motherfucking bully. You know what I'm saying? But I bully the bully. I stand up for those that don't know how to stand up for themselves. You understand what I'm saying? I treat a person the way I want to be treated. I watch this, man. I know what it feel like to be a, a real bully. I had a nigga from PJ Watts, bro. That nigga beat my ass in Camp Gonzalez. I used to bully this nigga, man. Take his candy on visits when he come back from the visit. But the nigga had basketball skills like Jordan would never let me play on this team. And one day I fired on that nigga on the basketball court in Camp Gonzalez. Here, Mac, and he started running. So I started chasing his ass. Every time he turned around, he fired on me. That dude gave me a black eye, man. I stayed in the dorm for a week. I was embarrassed to go to the main line. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go out and play. But that, that showed me about what being a bully is. I'm, I'm not a bully today. I'm a, I'm a gatekeeper of my community, man. I just want my community to be better, man. Bam, can you just play Just love that? being Bam. Just... You, you a chess player, Hell Bam? I'm going to play that. I'm going to play that, yeah. huh? really play that after I get chopping it up with you. Hey, man, I be playing my god brother in chess, right? Uh -huh. And I put my horses so far down, he, he can't never move his king. He be like, God damn. I say, the difference between me and you, Dre, baby, I say, you need your woman. I, I'm a king. I know how to go protect my woman and the king. I'm going to hurt and get you out the way. See, the most important piece on the chessboard ain't the queen. The most important piece on the chessboard is the pawn. You need a pawn. Because the pawn is the only piece on the board that can get you the pieces that you lost. Ain't no other piece getting you what you lost. Only the pawn. Mm -hmm. And and the, the chess game, people call it the game of life. If you play chess, you can play life good. So I had to tell my god brother this. You started to lack in your playing life because I'm fucking over you. We got to understand the most important people. I play, man, I play the shit out of Pino. I'll make you start gambling again, care back if you know how to play Pino. Nah, he head up, Pino. See, let me let me tell you my issue with Pinochle. Every nigga I ran across what? in the penitentiary, and I mean every nigga, I'm not lumping nobody together. I'm talking about every single nigga yeah. that I ran across in prison to <laughs> say he, he was a Pinochle man because Spades wasn't all of that. I whooped their ass in Spades. So I have no respect for that game called Pinochle. I, 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 I said, hey, that might be true, too. I don't know how to play space. I know how to play beer with whiz. I didn't seen him play space. I just didn't find it. I didn't want to play. 
Yeah. I, I used to stand at the day room and get mad at, at the prison because some of the homies play spades, you know, to play peanut. But I'll whoop on you up some peanut. I believe you on some handball, Kev Mack, and you're younger than me. Well, I can't play handball on my back. I can't even bend down and hit the ball. I was playing. I got a bad back, too. No, no, I got a. My back really can't bend down like that. I, uh, All right. I, my, my I know spine, you used to play some sports when you were young. No, I used to play handball I play. up until I messed my back up. All right. Yeah, I played Look, the shit out of that, man. Me and Mike G. And, and, and Tommy Wayne from Portland Village, my chief from Nutty. When I first came home for about the first six months, we went and played handball at a pork and bill flop, just us three, and played basketball. Because we I'm the youngest out of them. They told me, man, that was exercise. But I played chess almost every day, man. Man, you got three people in the conversation. I shit when I play play chess. You got three three people that want to play you in chess, man. Ain't no problem. Ain't no problem. Ain't no problem. I play that chess, man. And my god brother played like a motherfucker, but he just man, I, I checkmated this dude seven straight games Damn. last week. I said, man, I'm tired of playing you, man. Right. I'm just tired of playing you. He's like, oh, you, you create diversions. You talk shit. Well, I ain't told you not to be focused. How you think <laughs> Ali won all this fights? He mm. was talking shit, taking them out their game. If you don't know, you feel me. But I play chess, man. And, and watch this, Kel Mac. That's who taught me how to play chess. Oh, Ascari. Stag from the 60s. No, oh, Stag. Stag. Oh, yeah. Ascari Kramer. Stag yeah. taught me and Mill Rock. Me and Mill Rock. Once I beat Stag, I said, I don't even want to play you. He wanted to just get back there. I said, I don't want to play you no more, dude. I don't want to play you. You don't get no kid back. Stag, the only <laughs> dude I never play. You don't get no kid back. You taught me how to play this, and you told me my game wasn't good enough to beat you. And I whooped his ass. I used to be which whiskey turtle brother had game. I used to, when I used to found the way to check make whiskey, he used to get hot. When I mean, you be cheating, bam, come on, whiskey, man. Stop it. And whiskey had game. Whiskey had game. Ch I like chess, man. Uh when I go through some shit, I'll play some chess and be cool. Mm -hmm. I got to have my glasses on when I'm playing. I got to be the intelligent looking hood dude when I'm playing chess, right? Because the spectators are better than the players. The spectators always see a move. You feel me? And uh great league. I don't know. I, how I, to play. I don't know how to play low black, up low black, down, Georgia, skins, coon cane, these some OG games. I know how to play coon cane. I play coon can, some can, and some can. If you talk about uptown, downtown, big whiz, I know how to play that too. Hmm. But I, I watch this scale, man. I learned a lot of them games. I learned pink knuckle from my father and his friends when I was on the street. But I learned a lot of them games fucking with older convicts in prison that wasn't even affiliated, just older players out of communities. You know what I mean? It was just an honor and a pleasure. To be with him. Uh -huh. My homeboy said Pinochle is like playing I Declare War. <laughs> it is. <laughs> hey, but watch this, Kev Matt. I remember who does you should mean uh Tony G, my homie resting in peace. You said, man, let's go up to Cabo Shop, man. A big homeboy Moto, he, was, he used to be my little brother's new baseball coach. He used to come up there, we'll play for fifty dollars a game. The hole is a hundred. So you're going to walk away with a hundred. Your partner going to walk away with a hundred. Everybody put up a hundred. And this one, I was in my addiction, man. Tony G used to come get me. And I used to be able to smoke like a motherfucker going into the shop. Playing peanut. I used to go to my home. When I was in my addiction, I used to go to Little Bay Rob's spot. Because he had a chessboard. And he'll bet $20, $30 on me. Once I just set my mind to it, don't get distraction. I ain't saying I'm the best scale, Mac, but I'm gonna give a motherfucker a go for his money, man. Mm -hmm. it's, you can't check make me in food. Make you can't check make. It's gonna take you 20 minutes if you think you're gonna check make me. That might take me less to check make mm -hmm. you, but it's gonna take you at least 20 or 30 minutes to think you, if you think you got me a chest. Then I'm gonna tap the board, hope the motherfucker pieces fall, but you won't get it anyway. 
because we ain't gonna remember where the pieces was at. But mm -hmm. I got a good chess game, uh, 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 and I play dominoes. I just don't play. Like my yeah. chess game is awesome, hell man. All right. All I just right. don't play dominoes. Ain't nobody going up there. Dominoes is a disrespectful game, unintentionally. And I, I, I'm calling them to my Philly, so I don't play dominoes. Mm. You know what I mean? I don't play that. Well, I play chess. I play, I play backgammon. You understand know what I'm saying? You know, I play certain games. You know what I mean? Me and my play baby supposed to go so with it. Yep, but I don't gamble off Chuck. Yeah. Chuck, Pity Pet. Them, them was the games we learned as a kid. You feel right. me? But Georgia Skin, that game we saw my skins. Georgia Skins is something I wish I could have learned. Them was my daddy friends used to play them. My daddy had partners that used to come up to our house when I was little on the weekends. They'd be sitting in the garage drinking their Crow Round or their Shepherd's Rickers, and they drink their OG slits. They'd be playing Coon Can, Georgia Skin, or playing Peanut. I used to sit in that garage, stealing liquor, playing the drunks out their money. My partner's friends, when they get drunk, I could go to be able to get some extra dollars. You know what I'm saying? I was, I was was attracted to that shit, man. And Pinochle was a game that kept you out of bullshit in prison. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, 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 it'll keep you out. I ain't talking about that race type of shit, but, but amongst homies. Because nine out of ten, you might have, have you, the hood you don't get along with. You know this dude can play real good. Y'all in the same section. You gonna want him to be your partner. So, you know, it, it was a humble game. It was a humble game. I'm looking at your partner, Kobe Bryant on TV, Kel Mack. I wanted to tap in last night, but I couldn't. But I'm glad you let me tap in, brother. Yeah, man. Glad you let me tap in. Yeah. And your team going to the playoffs, Kel Mack? The Lakers? Yeah. Keep me 100. Of course. Of course they're going. Huh? Yeah, they're going. They're going? Yeah. Lakers ain't gonna never get a ring and never go back to the playoffs. If they make it to the playoffs, they ain't gonna get past the first round. As long as they got LeBron James. <laughs> and the Lakers might draft his sorry ass son, Bonnie, because this clown wanna play with his son. If he ended the draft, it's because Kobe didn't guarantee that the Lakers might get him. Because his son ain't shit in college. He was some at them look that Ivy school he went to. But he ain't shit at USC. He should have went to another college, like the Duke of Kentucky or North Carolina. But he wanted to be in USC because he liked the white girls. Mm. But the Lakers, listen to me, the Lakers ain't going to be that, man. It's all good. I, I ain't one of them Dallas the Cowboys team. fans that think we're going to win every year. Uh, all right. All right. But I'm just saying. The Lakers ain't the Lakers with LeBron James, man. I agree. I didn't. I, I started this like the Lakers because of Kobe. He's yeah. worse than Kobe. Oh, shit. He a brother that can ball, but he unorthodox. He, if, you pay, if you put Larry Bird's face, head on his shoulders, that's Larry, Larry Bird all over again. He, he wear a purse every time he ain't with his wife. <laughs> and he went outside everybody else. You know? and, and the best dude that helped people get a ring on the Lakers that did, was selfish with his publicity was Magic Johnson. Everybody else, Kobe was selfish. I heard your voice out, man. If Kobe, if Kobe and, and, and Shaq would have stayed together, check it out, man. Shaq, Shaq started seeing the real in Kobe. He clicked that shit up when Kobe died. But he started seeing the real in Kobe that Kobe was a narcissist. He was obnoxious. He thought he was better than everybody. He patented his game after one person that was Michael Jordan. Well, well, here you know go the saying? thing. Here go the thing. I, I agree with everything you said. But from Shaq's point of view, Kobe was just telling Shaq the real. Shaq can't accept that he was coming, coming uh, on the offseason out of shape and didn't have the work ethic that Kobe had. Kobe ain't told him nothing wrong. Whether he's narcissist or not, Shaq should have listened. And, 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 and you're absolutely right. But the way he was, 
if he been doing this and it never prevented you from getting a ring, you out of fucking for trying to correct him on it now. No, he yeah, been, them, them behaviors was already there. No, nah, because Kobe got more rings than Shaq, and, and Shaq played with better players than Kobe. Watch, watch this. Kobe got one ring more than Shaq. That's enough. But who got the first he ring at the left? But he played who got with the less first ring at the left? But Kobe played after they with they separate, who got the first ring? Listen, listen to what I'm Shaq, telling right? you. Listen to what I'm telling you. Shaq played with Hall of Famers. Kobe played with a bunch of scrubs. Why, why is y'all sucking yourself out into believing that, man? Huh? Watch this. Now, that's the only time you like that the ball will fall in your Listen, listen to me. That's the only time the ball will fall in your lap if you looked at it as an OG. Once you, once you ain't got your best half, you got to show what you can do. Shaq went over there to the Miami Heat, man, and them dudes were struggling. If, if Shaq wouldn't have went over there, they 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 they, 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 they franchise probably wouldn't have never got a ring. D Wade right? was good. He was good. D Wade was good. They got a ring with LeBron. You don't good. like LeBron. Listen to me, man. LeBron got a, he went over there riding on, on, on Miami back. See, LeBron go to teams that's already built. He don't go to teams that he helped build, teams that was already built. Why do you think he left Cleveland? Oh, I can't help him. I'm trying to get somewhere I can get a ring. Then he went back to Cleveland. Then he allowed the black coach to get fired. Why? I don't care, Mac. You, you're a commentator for sports. I just don't pop it sometimes. But my opinion of sports, man, LeBron James ain't nothing but a hot dog. You, you He's know a hot, I'm not hot dog gonna, riding on this fan's back. You know why I'm, you, you know no. why I'm not going to argue or debate with you? Why? Because Jerome Wallace and eloquence is key. And these clowns, uh, these clowns crazy as fuck, all agree with me. Uh, that's enough for me. I, I don't have to argue my point no more. <laughs> I got you. But li listen to me, homie. I don't even watch the Lakers because of LeBron. They got to really be playing a team that I like. I do not like the Lakers, man. Because of Kobe, LeBron James. In the pen, man, when I used to watch, I remember when they, they met up with Allen Ivers. I bet my homie Chip from Compton in Hood, right? I said, nigga. Bet the first game. Bet Al Alvarez win. We're going to bet whoever lose, you got to get the TV. You can't be able to watch it on your TV. I had that nigga TV. He was hot. Come on, bam, big homie. You're going to, nigga, give me that TV, nigga. Yeah, the Lakers might have beat him. But I, Alan Ivers just showed y'all then who was better between him and Kobe. Alan Ivers. LeBron James ain't nobody, man. It's one thing, one dude, I respect a lot of NBA players, but the one that got more rings to build, less rings to build, Russell, in between with Kareem, that's Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan said this, I ain't the GOAT. Chicago Bulls is the GOAT. Chicago Bulls got these rings, not me by myself. He give, he give his lineup that people play beside him, they problems. Kobe don't do that. If them dudes respected Kobe like y'all think, yeah, Matt, you think a Lakers fan would have been trying to get at his wife? I ain't never said they respected You think him. they really respected Kobe? As soon as he I got, ain't... two or three teammate partners was knocking on the door trying to get Vanessa. Yeah, well, they waited till he died, I'll tell you that much. Exactly. I, I know that, but wait a minute. Watch this. You ever heard of a Laker player, a Laker teammate? Chicago Bull team mates back in the day, when Walking Bucks, when Austin Robinson was over there. You ever hear about players messing with another player's mother? Or the mama wouldn't want to fuck with a teammate? Oh, man. This hip hop we got in the NBA now. See, Allen Robinson said, man, we're going to tattoo ourselves up and pull our pants, pull our gym shorts down. We're just going to get hood out here. The hood then came to that. LeBron James ain't. He ain't the best player in the NBA to me. 
He ain't the greatest. Oh man, that dude ain't better than Jordan. He ain't better than Adam Robinson. Watch this, man. LeBron James was better than Nate Hulcher Ball. Yeah. Nor Spud Will. Damn, what my phone? That's just something. You know, that's me, man. Huh? It's all good. I'm looking for my phone. But uh, I had a good one, Kev. Man, come on, Drake. Let's play some chess. Yeah, all right. All right, bro. Go ahead, man. I need to find my phone, man. You ain't lost your phone, man. That girl snuck in there and got that phone. I probably left it. Sometimes you see all these women on YouTube. All right, right, well, man. Good chopping up with you, man. All right. All right. Y'all take it easy, man. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, C-No want to play you.